All right, everybody. In this video, I'm going to break down all six of the PBS Kids Identity from 1999 to 2008 that would be used on fan-made season three of Clifford the Big Red Dog 2000 series from 2003 to 2004. Now, season three of the fan-made, fan-made season three of the 2000 version of Clifford the Big Red Dog will premiere on Monday, May 5th, 2003, and would conclude on Friday, January 23rd, 2004. Now, without further ado, let's talk about each episode and the PBS Kids events that'll be featured on them. So anyway, here is, first up, we're going to go into the season three premiere which is Season 3, Episode 1, Goodbye, Jetta, and Wish for a Fish. This episode would air on Monday, May 5th, 2003, and the episodes Goodbye, Jetta, and Wish for a Fish, by the way, Season 3 would have Clifford announce the funding credits. And we have John Ritter as the voice of Clifford in the funding Whereas in season two, it was Cleo who did the voiceover, and she was done by Cree Summer. And in season one, it was Charlie, done by Gary Leloy Gray, who did the funding. Now for season three, it's going to have Clifford, voiced by John Ritter, doing the funding here. Now. Now. For the PBS Kids I meant for season three, episode one, Goodbye, Jetta, and Wish for a Fish. These episodes, Goodbye, Jetta, and Wish for a Fish, will use the 2002 PBS Kids Fishbowl I meant, where Dash the boy looks at a goldfish in the fishbowl and then comes close to it and imagines himself as an orange goldfish and then gets eaten by Dot as a green fish. And the PBS Kids Fishbowl event used for Season 3 of Clifford the Big Red Dog will be the regular version that does not say kids. And it will not say pbskids.org at the bottom. And it will cut in and out. Alright, next up, Season 3, Episode 2, Snow Day and Clifford the Skiing Dog. These episodes, Snow Day and Clifford the Skiing Dog, will air on Tuesday, May 6th, 2003. And the episode Snow Day and Clifford the Skiing Dog will use the 2002 PBS Kids Snow Globe event, where Dash, the boy, is ice skating in an ice rink. And then he feels the ground shake, and then the camera zooms out to reveal that he is inside of a snow globe, which Dot the girl is holding. Notice that Dot is colored blue instead of green, and the same applies with Dash. And um, and like with and just like the fishbowl I meant for season three of Clifford the Big Red Dog, the snow globe one, the snow globe I meant will also be the regular version that does not say kids and it again the snow globe one will also not say pbskids.org and unlike season two which did have it say pbskids.org the snow globe one will not have it say it in season three and it also applies with clifford's puppy days along with the fishbowl event as well And it will cut in and out, just so you know. Now for Season 3, Episode 3, Jeffy's Missing Blanket and Clifford vs. Jeffy. These episodes would air on Wednesday, May 7th, 2003. And Jeffy's Missing Blanket and Clifford vs. Jeffy will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dot Transformation Ident where Dot the Girl transforms into a tiger, octopus, and astronaut. Now, 
Now for season three, episode four, it's The Musicians of Birdwell and T-Bone's Favorite Book. These episodes would air on Thursday, May 8th, 2003. Now for The Musicians of Birdwell and T-Bone's Favorite Book, these episodes will use the 1999 PBS Kids Dot the Girl ident with Dot running up to the screen, but it's but these episodes used the 2000 dash transformation audio playing over the 1999 dot ident in these episodes. All right, now for season three, episode five, Clifford Make Believes and Jeffy in the Cave. These episodes would air on Friday, May 9th, 2003. And Clifford Make Believes and Jeffy in the Cave will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dash transformation ident, where Dash the Boy transforms into a caveman, scuba diver, and robot. And by the way, May 5th to May 9th, 2003, that's also the same days of the week that Episodes 4051 to episodes 4055 of Sesame Street from season 34 were airing. All right. Next up, we'll go into season three, episode six, which is Sleeping Jeffy and Concert Day at Birdwell Island. This episode would air on Monday, May 12th, 2003, and Sleeping Jeffy and Concert Day at Birdwell Island is going to use the 1999 PBS Kids Dot the Girl ident, where Dot runs up to the screen, but this time it's going to use the correct audio. Unlike the episode The Musicians of Birdwell and T-Bone's Favorite Book, which has the 2000 Dash Transformations audio playing over it. Um, Sleeping Jeffy and Concert Day at Birdwell Island will use the correct dot audio from 1999, playing over the dot ident like normal. All right, now for season three, episode seven. Steven's School Project, and T-Bone's Halloween Surprise. These episodes would air on Tuesday, May 13th, 2003. And these episodes, Steven's School Project, and T-Bone's Halloween Surprise, will use the 2002 PBS Kids Fishbowl ident. Coincidentally, Season 2, Episode 7, which is Big Heart of T-Bone and Cleo's Valentine Surprise, used the 2002 PBS Kids Snow Globe ident on these episodes. But for Season 3, Episode 7, Steven's School Project and T-Bone's Halloween Surprise, it is the exact opposite. It's going to use the 2002 PBS Kids Fishbowl ident for Steven's School Project and T-Bone's Halloween Surprise compared to Big Hearted T-Bone and Cleo's Valentine Surprise from the previous season that used the Snow Globe one. All right, now for season three, episode eight, The Wizard of Dogs, which is a Clifford take on The Wizard of Oz, and Cleo in Wonderland, which is a Clifford take on Alice in Wonderland. These episodes would air on Wednesday, May 14th, 2003. And The Wizard of Dogs and Cleo in Wonderland will use the 1999 PBS Kids Dash the Boy ident. Where Dash the Boy is, where Dash is thinking about something. Now, for Season 3, Episode 9. Clifford Visits Eight Simple Rules. This will be a 90-minute double-length episode. And Clifford Visits Eight Simple Rules will air on Thursday, May 15, 2003, and will use the 
2000 PBS Kids Dash Transformation Ident. All right, next up, Season 3, Episode 10, Clifford Remembers Mr. Bleakman. This will be another double-length episode, but this one is going to be a normal 30-minute double-length episode. And this episode, Clifford Remembers Mr. Bleakman, will air on Friday, May 16th, 2003. And it will be dedicated to Mr. Rogers. And this episode, Clifford Remembers Mr. Bleakman, will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dot Transformation Ident at the end. All right. Now for Season 3, Episode 11, we go back into two episodes paired on one airing. For Season 3, Episode 11, we have Clifford Goes to the Dentist and T-Bone's Tooth Problem, which these episodes would air on Monday, May 19th, 2003. And Clifford Goes to the Dentist and T-Bone's Tooth Problem will use the 2002 PBS Kids Fishbowl event at the end. All right, now for Season 3, Episode 12, which is Cleo's Missing Toy and Storytime with Clifford. These episodes would air on Tuesday, May 20th, 2003, which is also the exact same day Warner Home Video released Teletubbies Look, Playful Patterns and Simple Shapes on VHS and DVD. Now, Cleo's Missing Toy and Storytime with Clifford will use the 1999 PBS Kids Dash the Boy event where Dash is thinking about something. All right, next up, Season 3, Episode 13, Baz's Computer Problem and Charlie Helps Out. These episodes would air on Wednesday, May 21st, 2003, and will use the... And Baz's Computer Problem and Charlie Helps Out will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dash Transformation Ident. All right, now we go into Season 3, Episode 14, which is... The Runaway Ball and Steven's Fishing Lessons. Not to be confused with an earlier episode from the second season, simply just called Fishing Lessons. Not to mention, it'll also include a flashback from that ep from that season two episode, Fishing Lessons, in in one scene of Steven's Fishing Lessons. There will be a flashback to the season two episode, Fishing Lessons, on it. And the Runaway Ball and Steven's Fishing Lessons will air on Thursday, May 22nd, 2003. And the Runaway Ball and Steven's Fishing Lessons will use the 2002 PBS Kids Fishbowl event. All right. Next up, Season 3, Episode 15, Happy Birthday, Clifford, and Steven's Phone Call. Not to be confused with a DVD of Happy Birthday, Clifford, released in 2002, about a year before this episode would air. Which, Happy Birthday, Clifford, and Stephen's phone call would air on Friday, May 23rd, 2003. And these episodes, Happy Birthday, Clifford, and Stephen's phone call will use the 1999 PBS Kids Dot the Girl ident, where Dot runs up to the screen. All right. Next up, Season 3, Episode 16, which is Jeffy's Bad Dream and Clifford Goes to the Fair. These episodes, Jeffy's Bad Dream and Clifford Goes to the Fair, would air on Monday, May 26, 2003. And these episodes, 
Jiffy's Bad Dream and Clifford Goes to the Fair would also use the 1999 PBS Kids Dot the Girl Ident. Now for Season 3, Episode 17, which is Bad Jeffy and Clifford Takes a Nap. These episodes, Bad Jeffy and Clifford Takes a Nap, would air on Tuesday, May 27, 2003. And Bad Jeffy and Clifford Takes a Nap will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dash Transformation Ident. All right, next up is Season 3, Episode 18, which is The Lunch Menu and Charlie Goes Bowling. These episodes, The Lunch Menu and Charlie Goes Bowling, will air on Wednesday, May 28, 2003. And these episodes, The Lunch Menu and Charlie Goes Bowling, will use the 2002 PBS Kids Snow Globe ident at the end. All right, next up is Season 3, Episode 19, which is The Stolen Sandwich and Cleo's Broken Flute. These episodes would air on Friday. These episodes would air on Thursday, May 29th, 2003. And The Stolen Sandwich and Cleo's Broken Flute would use the 2000 PBS Kids Dash Transformation Ident in these episodes at the end. Now for Season 3, Episode 20, which is Clifford the Hero and the Missing Tummy Yummies. These episodes would air on Friday, May 30th, 2003. And these episodes, Clifford the Hero and the Missing Tummy Yummies, will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dot Transformation Ident at the end. All right, now, to, now for Season 3, Episode 21, which is the Ice Cream Party and T-Bone the Brave. These episodes, the Ice Cream Party and T-Bone the Brave, would air on Monday, June 2nd, 2003. And these episodes, the Ice Cream Party and T-Bone the Brave, will actually use the 2002 PBS Kids Snow Globe ident at the end. And I chose that because, you know, it would be kind of cool because, because they could be like having an ice cream party, plus it could be snowing in that episode too, and that's what, and that's why the Snow Globe ident will be used for the ice cream party and team on the break. So yes, the Ice Cream Party and T-Bone the Brave will use the 2002 PBS Kids Snow Globe ident at the end. All right, next up, Season 3, Episode 22, which is Steven Gets Lost and Jeffy Learns the Colors. These episodes would air on Tuesday, June 3rd, 2003, which is also the same day uh, Sony Wonder released Elmo's World, The Great Outdoors on VHS and DVD. And Steven Gets Lost and Jeffy Learns the Colors will use the 2002 PBS Kids Fishbowl ident at the end. And I thought that would work because... Dash is an orange goldfish, and Dot is a green fish, and green and orange are different colors. Not to mention the background is light blue in the water. Alright, next up, Season 3, Episode 23. Jeffy the Creative, and T-Bone and the Magic Wand. These episodes would air on Wednesday, June 4th, 2003. And Jeffy the Creative and T-Bone and the Magic Wand will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dash Transformation ident at the end. Next up, 
Season 3, Episode 24, which is Clifford's Really Big Blunder and Best Dog Ever. A.K.A. the... A.K.A. the controversial Clifford swearing episode, where Clifford punishes Jeffy and, and, and Rufus for watching North Park after he told him not to. Basically a Clifford version of the Arthur episode, Bleep. Now, Clifford's really big blunder and best dog ever would air on Thursday, June 5th, 2003, and... Clifford's really big blunder and the best dog and best dog ever will use the 1999 PBS Kids Dash the Boy ident at the end. All right. Next up, season 3 episode 25, The Big Storm and T-Bone's Busy Day. These episodes The Big Storm and T-Bone's Busy Day will air on Friday, June 6th, 2003. Unlike the episode Stormy Weather from Season 1, which had the 2000 PBS Kids Dot transformation item at the end, The Big Storm and T-Bone's Busy Day will use the 2002 PBS Kids Snow Globe item at the end instead. And you know why? Because The Big Storm from Season 3 is basically like a more winter ver a winter like version of the season one episode stormy weather except instead of rain and a hurricane the big storm has snow and a blizzard coming to birdwell island that's why it has to snow blow by then all right next up season three episode 26 a great day for jeffy and jeffy goes swimming these episodes would air on Monday, June 9th, 2003. Now, at first, when I looked at the list, I was wondering, should I keep the dash transformation ident, or should I use the dot transformation or fishbowl events? And it has come to my decision. Um, I will keep the dash transformation ident for... A great day for Jeffy and Jeffy goes swimming. And it, and yeah, a great day for Jeffy and Jeffy goes swimming will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dash transformation ident at the end. Because Dash swims when he becomes a scuba diver, and it makes sense for the plot for Dash transformation to appear on Jeffy goes swimming. So yes, season 3, episode 26, a great day for Jeffy and Jeffy goes swimming is still going to use the 2000 PBS Kids Dash transformation ident at the end. Alright, next up, Season 3, Episode 27, Project Day and Show and Tell. These episodes would air on Tuesday, June 10th, 2003, which is also the same day Sony Wonder released Four Arthur DVD releases. Two of them were also released on VHS, which were Arthur's Tasty Treats and Arthur's Best Friends. And the other two were just DVD reissues, which are Arthur's Baby and Arthur Writes a Story. All four of those on DVD would be released on June 10th, 2003, the same day this episode would air. And Project Day and Show and Tell will use the 2002 PBS Kids Fishbowl event. All right, next up, Season 3, Episode 28, T-Bone's Skiing Lesson and Clifford's Thanksgiving Feast. These episodes would air on Wednesday, June 11, 2003. And these episodes, T-Bone's Skiing Lesson and Clifford's Thanksgiving Feast, will use the 2002 PBS Kids Snow Globe ident at the end. And then for Season 3, Episode 29, Jeffy Tries New Things and The Missing Key. These episodes would air on Thursday, June 12, 2003. 
and Jeffy tries new things, and the missing key will use the 1999 PBS Kids Dash the Boy ident. Next up, Season 3, Episode 30, Clifford's Bath Time and Cleo Sore Paw. Clifford's Bath Time is basically like Clifford's version of No Baths for Cleo. Except the complete opposite of that is, while No Baths for Cleo has Cleo refusing to take a bath, Clifford actually wants to take a bath in Clifford's bath time because he was playing in the mud all day that he got himself a little too dirty and, and he needed to get clean before Emily Elizabeth came. And he wanted to do it to please Emily Elizabeth. Now, Cleo Sore Paw is kind of like that Snow Lie, but this time for Cleo Sore Paw, Cleo actually hurts her paw doing too much running around the house. But And for Clifford's bath time, Clifford takes a bath. So what does that lead into the PBS Kids fishbowl ide into the PBS Kids idents? Well, I chose Clifford's Bath Time and Cleo Sore Paw to use the 2002 PBS Kids fishbowl ident. Yes, Clifford's Bath Time and Cleo Sore Paw will still use the 2002 PBS Kids fishbowl ident at the end. And that makes sense because it requires bubbles to take a bath, and there are bubbles in the fishbowl ident, and water. So yes, Clifford's Bath Time and Cleo's Sore Paw will still use the 2002 PBS Kids fishbowl ident. Now, stay tuned for part two. Now, by the way, these 30 episodes would air when John Ritter was still around. Stay tuned for part two. All right, everybody, welcome back. Now we're going to continue on with the list of PBS Kids items for Season 3 of Clifford the Big Red Dog from 2003 to 2004. Now we're going to get into the remaining episodes. And first up, Season 3, Episode 31, New Food for Clifford and The Math Project. These episodes would air on Monday, December 15th, 2003. And New Food for Clifford and the Math Project will use the 1999 PBS Kids Dash the Boy event where Dash is thinking about something. Now for Season 3, Episode 32, we're going to Jeffy's Breakfast and the Football Game. Season 3, Episode 32. Jeffy's Breakfast and the Football Game would air on Tuesday, December 16, 2003. And Jeffy's Breakfast and the Football Game will use the 2002 PBS Kids Snow Globe Ident because in, because in Jeffy's Breakfast, it is cold outside and it snows in that episode. And... And Jeffy is really looking forward to going outside, but he has to eat breakfast first, but he doesn't want to eat breakfast. Later on, it stops snowing, and they can go outside and play ball. Alright, next up, Season 3, Episode 33. Use your imagination and Steven go shopping. These episodes would air on Wednesday, December 17th, 2003, and Use Your Imagination and Steven Go Shopping will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dash Transformation ident. 
Now for Season 3, Episode 34, The Feud and Happy Birthday, Jeffy. Now, The Feud and Happy Birthday, Jeffy would air on Thursday, December 18, 2003. And The Feud and Happy Birthday, Jeffy will use the 1999 PBS Kids Dash the Boy ident, but it's going to use the audio from the 1999 Dot counterpart. It's just like, it's basically a reverse of what happened in the Season 1 episode of Clifford the Big Red Dog, where it had the 1999 PBS Kids Dot the Girl ident with the audio from the Dash counterpart, but here in Season 3, Episode 34, it is reversed with the Dash ident using the audio from the Dot counterpart here. Alright, next up, Season 3, Episode 35, Birdwell Island Turns 200. Basically, a Clifford take on Aylwood City Turns 100, and Birdwell Island Turns 200 would be a one-hour double-length episode. A one-hour double-length episode. And, um... Birdwell Island Turns 200 would air on Friday, December 19, 2003. And this episode, Birdwell Island Turns 200, will use the 2002 PBS Kids Snow Globe ident at the end. Now for Season 3, Episode 36, which is How Clifford Saved Christmas, which would air on Monday, December 22, 2003, just three days before Christmas Day of 2003. And yes, How Clifford Saved Christmas will also use the 2002 PBS Kids Snow Globe ident at the end. And that is the most perfectly fitting ident used for a Clifford episode in general because in Christmas time, it takes place in the winter, and it snows a lot during Christmas time. Not to mention, you could also get hot chocolate in there. And yes, and not to mention Bill Foggerbocky, who does the voice of Patrick Starr in SpongeBob SquarePants, will guest star as Santa Claus in both this episode and in an earlier episode from this season called The Ice Cream Party. All right, next up we go back into, and yeah, How Clifford Saved Christmas will also be a one-hour double-length episode, just like Birdwell Island Turns 200. But now we go back into two episodes paired on one airing, with Season 3, Episode 37, Stephen's Bad Luck, and Another Day, Another Dog. Now this... Now, this would mark the first appearance of Patrick the Joke-Cracking Dog in the 2000 series clip for the Big Red Dog. I know in the 1964 version from Hanna-Barbera, Mel Blanc would be the voice of Patrick the Joke-Cracking Dog. But here, in the 2000 version, and in this episode especially, Robin Williams will be the voice of Patrick the Joke-Cracking Dog. And Stephen's Bad Luck and Another Day, Another Dog would air on Tuesday, December 23rd, 2003. And these episodes, this Stephen's Bad Luck and Another Day, Another Dog, will use the 2002 PBS Kids Fishbowl ident. All right, next up. Let's go to Season 3, Episode 38, The Science Project, and Rufus Goes to School. Now, The Science Project will be a very interesting episode because in that episode, Ms. Carrington's class watches an episode of The Magic School Bus, which is another show that Scholastic had made in addition to the John Ritter version of Clifford the Big Red Dog. And the 
and the episode of the Magic School Bus that Miss Carrington in the class watches in the Clifford episode, The Science Project, is the Magic School Bus and the Bustasaurus from Season 2. And that is because they also get to learn about dinosaurs for the science project. And then, yeah, and then Rufus goes to school. Yeah, and yes, the science project and Rufus goes to school would use the 2000 PBS Kids Dash transformation I did at the end. And would air on Wednesday, December 24th. 2003, which is Christmas Eve. And, yes. Yeah, that's for the Science Project and Rufus Goes to School, and it will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dash transformation I did at the end. And now we go into Season 3, Episode 39, which is Good Friends Don't Forget Their Friends and Clifford's Puppy. Good Friends Don't Forget Their Friends is basically T-Bone and Jeffy's version of the Season 1 episode, Forgive and Forget. Except this time, it's T-Bone and Jeffy. This time, it's Jeffy being upset with T-Bone for forgetting what he needed. And Jeffy refuses to talk to T-Bone afterwards, which makes T-Bone feel very left out. And Good Friends Don't Forget Their Friends and Clifford's Puppy would air on December 25th, 2003, which is Christmas Day of that year. And these episodes, Good Friends Don't Forget Their Friends and Clifford's Puppy, will use the 1999 PBS Kids Dot the Girl event, where Dot runs up to the screen, making its first appearance in a season 3 episode for the first time since episode 16. All right, next up, Season 3, Episode 40, The Perfect Score and the Three Dogs. These episodes, The Perfect Score and the Three Dogs, would air on Friday, December 26, 2003. And Good Friends Don't Forget Their Friends and Clifford's Puppy, that's actually Thursday, December 25th, 2003. Now for the perfect score in the Free Dogs, it is Friday, December 26, 2003, as for the air date. And the perfect score and the Free Dogs will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dot transformation ident, which will make its first appearance in the Season 3 episode ever since Season 3, Episode 20. Now, by the way, the weeks of December 22nd to December 26, 2003 was also the same days of the week that the last five episodes of Season 8 of Arthur were airing. Alright, next up, Season 3, Episode 41, Jeffy's Collection and Jeffy Gets Along. These episodes would air on... Monday, December 29, 2003. And these episodes, The Missing Jeffy's Collection and Jeffy Gets Along, will use the 2002 PBS Kids Snow Globe event at the end. Next up, we go into Season 3, Episode... 42, which is The Missing Biscuit and The Kitten's Return, which will mark Billy and Betty's and Billy and Betty's Betty Kitten's first appearance in Season 3 after their appearance in The Truth About Dogs and Cats from Season 1 and A Big Help and The Trouble with Kittens from Season 2. The Kitten's Return will be will be one of the first appearances of Billy and Betty Kittens from Season 3, in addition to the Runaway Ball, which aired earlier in the season.
and The Missing Biscuit and the Kitten's Return would air on Tuesday, December 30th, 2003. And The Missing Biscuit and the Kitten's Return will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dot Transformation Ident. Speaking of which, I saw the 2000 PBS Kids Dot Transformation Ident after the episode A Big Help in the Trouble with Kittens from Season 2, but... These episodes accidentally used the Snow Globe Ident's audio playing over the Dot Transformation Ident. But here, in The Kitten's Return, the Dot Transformation Ident uses the correct audio. Next up, Season 3, Episode 43, which is Jeffy's Bone Craving and Turn That Frown Upside Down. These episodes would air on Wednesday, December 31st, 2003, New Year's Eve of that year. And Jeffy's Bone Craving and Turn That Frown Upside Down will use the 2002 PBS Kids Fishbowl Ident. Alright, next up, Season 3, Episode 44, which is actually a Christmas special which is a fan-made Christmas special, which re-airs the episode That Snow Lie from Season 2 and Snow Day from earlier in the season. From earlier in this season, Season 3. And yes, the Christmas special will use the 2002 PBS Kids Snow Globe Ident at the end. All right. Next up, we go into Season 3, Episode 45, which is T-Bone's New Toy and Thirsty... And yeah, Christ the Christmas special will air on New Year's Day of 2004, here. Next up, we go into Season 3, Episode 45, which is T-Bone's New Toy and Thirsty Cleo. These episodes would air on Thursday, January 2nd, 2004, and... T-Bone's new toy and Thirsty Cleo will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dot transformation ident at the end. Alright, next up, we go into Season 3, Episode 46, which is Clifford's Really Big Cold and Itchy Jeffy. These episodes would air on Monday, these episodes would air on Monday, January 5th, 2004, and Clifford's Really Big Cold and Itchy Jeffy will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dot Transformation Ident, but it's going to use the audio from the 2002 PBS Kids Fishbowl Ident in this episode, playing over the Dot Transformation Ident. This was inspired by by an error that I saw in 2003 that I mentioned a little bit ago about the episodes of Big Help and the Trouble with Kittens, where the 2000 Dot Transformation Ident used the audio from the Snow Globe Ident from 2002. That's why I had Clifford's Really Big Cold and Itchy Jeffy use a similar error with the Fishbowl Ident's audio playing over the Dot Transformation Ident this time. Alright, next up, Season 3, Episode 47, Clifford's New Book and T-Bone's Amazing Birthday Party. These episodes would air on Tuesday, January 6, 2004. And these episodes, Clifford's New Book and T-Bone's Amazing Birthday Party will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dash Transformation Ident. All right, next up, Season 3, Episode 48, which is the musical special. I saw Husky Dog 88 uploaded it to archive.org a while back, and Husky Dog 88 did an amazing job uploading it. It contained the episodes Clifford on Parade and Doghouse Rock from the previous seasons, Season 1 and Season 2, respectively. And it had the 1999 PBS Kids Dash the boy ident at the end of the musical special. And the musical special, the air date would be 
would be Wednesday, January 7th, 2004. And by the way, the musical special would mark the last appearance of the 1999 PBS Kids Dash event on Season 3 of Clifford the Big Red Dog, which does have the correct audio in the musical special. All right, next up, it, and also, the musical special has, a, has the Clifford's Puppy Days voiceover from the funding playing over the Clifford the Big Red Dog funding, instead of John Ritter's voiceover. That's pretty interesting. Just like the Christmas special, which had the first half of the funding use Cleo's voiceover, and in the second half using Clifford's voiceover. But here in the musical special, it has the Clifford's Puppy Days voiceover playing over the Clifford the Big Red Dog funding credits, which is cool. And now we go into Season 3, Episode 49, which is Steven Rides a Bike and Dancing Jeffy. These episodes would air on Thursday, January 8, 2004. And Steven Rides a Bike and Dancing Jeffy will use the 1999 PBS Kids Dot the Girl event, where Dot runs up to the screen. Now, this will be the last season, for, this would mark the 1999 PBS Kids Dot ident's last appearance in the season three episode. Steven rides a bike and dancing Jeffy, that is. All right. Next up, season three, episode 50, which is Charlie and the Big Mess and Clifford Goes to the Movies. These episodes would air on Friday, January 9th, 2004. And Charlie and the Big Mess and Clifford Goes to the Movies will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dash transformation item at the end. Next up, we go into Season 3, Episode 51, which is Clifford Joins the Football Team and A Day at the Park. And these episodes would air on Monday, January on Monday, January 19th, 2004. And Clifford joins the football team and the date at the park. We'll use the 2002 PBS Kids Snow Globe ident at the end. Now we go into season three, episode 52. Where's Jeffy and Clifford the Kind? These episodes would air on Tuesday. January 20th, 2004, and these episodes, Where's Jeffy and Clifford the Kind, will use the 2002 PBS Kids Fishbowl ident, and this would be one of, and these episodes, Where's Jeffy and Clifford the Kind, will be, will mark the PBS Kids Fishbowl ident's last appearance in season three. Next up, Season 3, Episode 53, Clifford Makes Pizza and the Birdwell Island Picnic. These episodes would air on Wednesday, January 21st, 2004, which is exactly one year after King Clifford and Be My Big Red Valentine were released on VHS, and two years after Cyber Chase premiered. And Clifford Makes Pizza and the Birdwell Island Picnic will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dot Transformation Ident. And Clifford Makes Pizza and the Birdwell Island Picnic will be one of the last episodes of Season 3 to use the 2000 PBS Kids Dot Transformation Ident. So Clifford Makes Pizza and the Birdwell Island Picnic will mark the 2000 PBS Kids Dot Transformation Ident's last appearance in the Season 3 episode. Next up, Season 3, Episode 54, T-Bone Sandcastle, and Happy Birthday, Steven. These episodes would air on Thursday, January 19th, on Thursday, January 22nd, 2004. And T-Bone Sandcastle and Happy Birthday, Steven will use the 2000 PBS Kids Dash transformation item at the end. Now, this would mark the last appearance of the Dash Transformation Ident in, in, in the Season 3 episode of Clifford the Big Red Dog. However, it'll make a, one more appearance in the Clifford and Arthur crossover feature film, which would air on Friday, 
January 30th, 2004 on PBS and would be released in theaters on September 5th, 2003. And Season 3, Episode 55, Jeffy's Toy Ball and Jeffy's Sleepover. This would be the Season 3 finale. And, of course, these episodes would air on Friday, January 23rd, 2004. And Jeffy's Toy Ball and Jeffy's Sleepover will use the 2002 PBS Kids Snow Globe Ident which would mark the Snow Globe Ident's last appearance in a Season 3 episode. Now, for... Now, we go into Clifford Goes to Elwood City, which is a Clifford and Arthur crossover feature film that is about 90 minutes long. And that film will use the Season 8, the Arthur Season 8 funding with Cleo's voiceover being used instead of instead of Jane Reed's voiceover from the Arthur funding, and the and Clifford goes to Elwood City would use the 2000 PBS Kids Dash transformation ident. All right. Well, that pretty much c covers it all. Now, according to this graph, seven episodes of season three used the 1999 PBS Kids Dash Ident. Six episodes of season three used the 1999 PBS Kids Dot Ident. Thirteen episodes. Well, 12 episodes and the Clifford Arthur crossover feature film used the 2000 PBS Kids Dash Transformation Ident. You know, let me start that over. Seven appearances of the 1999 PBS Kids Dash Ident in Season 3. Six appearances of the 1999 PBS Kids Dot Ident in Season 3. Thirteen appearances of the 2000 PBS Kids Dash Transformation Ident in Season 3, including 12 episodes and the Clifford and Arthur crossover feature film Clifford Goes to Elwood City, 8 appearances of the 2000 PBS Kids Dot Transformation Ident in Season 3, 10 appearances of the 2002 PBS Kids Fishbowl Ident in Season 3, and 12 appearances of the 2002 PBS Kids Snow Globe Ident in Season 3. So what does that mean in terms of the most common PBS Kids ident used in Season 3? Well, according to, this wheel, according to this wheel, that makes Dash Transformation the winner in Season 3 of Clifford the Big Red Dog, making Dash Transformation the most common PBS Kids ident in Season 3 of Clifford the Big Red Dog, with the Snow Globe ident being really close to winning with the Dash Transformation Ident sneaking up on it. Sneaking up on the Snow Globe Ident, I should say. So that means Dash Transformation is the winner. I made this video together for Husky Dog 88.